Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux in which we're playing as the Socialist Republic of Italy, but about the country. With the defeat of France and then the fall of Rome six months later, an exhausted Italy was left at the mercy of central powers, seemingly destined to be reorganized into an old pre-unification state within an Italian federation. Just months after the humiliating announcement, enraged socialists and nationalists proclaimed a new Republic of Italy in Torino, and that all treaties signed by the House of Savoy were left to be considered null and void. However, not so far away in Roma, federal militias mobilized Austria's plans to reunite Italian subject were quickly torn to pieces. As the war spread, the Italian Federation gaining, gained seemingly unstoppable momentum. With utter defeat almost certain, the socialist leaders left the nation, nationals to die, and managed an invasion into Naples with whatever army that we had left. With the historical region of the Socialist Republic of Italy under the control of the workers, and the French economy backing us, we were left in a period of deadlock, which eventually led to ceasefire when the Austrians pulled out. After the ceasefire was declared in 1922, three congresses Three congresses have come and gone, and the revolutionary fervors begin to change the minds of the peasantry, of course. There's some that would ruin our progress, but they would never be able to take control, right? Forward! But we're going to assess the army to begin. Oh, truth with the Mafia. Once United Italy will be able to defeat the Mafia. Peace with the Mafia? Oh. Declare war on the Mafia. Oh, boy. In order to prepare for the reunification, we should assess the army and see about solving the issues relating to our military matters so that our victory will be assured. Path guides for Italy. Uh, let's see. How to get the new SRI paths. Evola? Huh? Wait for the 36th election to take place. Vote for a different party on each issue. Okay. Oh, Mosley wants to talk to Mussolini. Oswald Papa Mosley, the UOB, has invited the chairman of the National Syndicates, Benito, to Birmingham to discuss the common ground between their ideologies. Mussolini has thanked him for the invite and set off in, set off in the name of internationalism. Off you go, Benito, and uniting Italy. Italian nationals have already begun the call for the second uh, Resolgimento to unify Italia once more. Spreading the revolution not be a simple matter, however. The peninsula exists in an uneasy balance. Germany and Austria are wary of any formal alliance between the SRI and the Third International. They know that an alliance is inevitable, but any attempt on our part to bring the French and English into a war to reunite Italy, under syndicalist rule, draw intervention, and start a new Valkyrie. The Federation of the North is protected by Austria, but under similar prohibition against starting a war against us, so as long as the prospect of German and Austrian interference remains, we must be wary, wary or aware that any war to reunite Italy can only be done with a limited Third International support. We've not made a move yet, but we cannot sit idly for much longer. Italy must be reunited. Italia. March to Naples event will fire, a small one, and to boost Legion support, and went after the election deadlock. Neo San Fedesti activity. Recently, we've been receiving several reports of the Neo San Fedesti activity. This reactionary militia has been plaguing us since the revolution began. The movement began after one of the more radical militias led by controversial attack on San Giovanni Rotondo. Terrified of our revolution, these Catholic extremists banded together to form militias of their own and have been causing trouble in the rural areas ever since. The group seems to be incredibly disunited only by a united leadership council that is otherwise powerless. Despite the massive disunity, two men, Padre Renato Zigoliti and Padre Pio, are the most popular leaders within the Neo San Fedesti. The former dreams of restoring a reactionary order to Italy, unifying it in some holy federation, Pio for his part is more radical. The ideas of nation, class, race, and ideology disgust him. He wishes to topple a republic and build a society united by faith. Despite this activity, it is not uncommon for the new army of the holy faith to vanish for months at a time and reappear either when they're, we are weakest or when so-called anti-Catholicism is at strongest. Terror stuck in the past. Oh boy. I don't know what to do with these guys. You'll be able to defeat the Mafia later? Declare war on the Mafia. They're the lowest of scum all in Europe. They can recruit crooks and killers. We have no, they have no place in the New Republic. We must wipe this face off the earth of the ma uh, wipe them off the face of the earth or truce with the Mafia. The crime families that control most of Sicily may be thugs, but they are sensible. With a powerful army, we should be able to come back to some sort of deal about their operations later on. Do we want to lose that? We already don't get that much political power. We have a divided nation. Total's charter. Uh, Camasia nera evolian exodus. The far right militant Camasia nera. Associated with the traditional integralism, has seen a membership drop since ultra right philosopher Julius Evola declared his intention to leave the group in an official capacity due to their overly moderate stance to the social republican commitment to nonviolent means. I hate organized crime. Not noting that neither can benefit the descendants of the Roman race, or more importantly, its spirit, he is joined by his longtime Evolian followers who are dubbed radical uh, tradi traditionalists, anti clerical nationalists, ultra right veteran groups, and hardline House of Savoy restor restorationists. The Camilla Camasi near is clearly irritated that he is. He's left with more members than he entered in with. Reliance on the French, oh boy. Spark German intervention, the unpopular chairman, of course. And we have Neo Sun de Besti. Nice. The second one was an important one. A small one. Boost Legion support. I choose between da 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 Catholics. Uh, choose events that boost Legion and fascist support and any events that occur. The fire of the most leading up to the Congress. The event. Oh, look at see the Fasici Siciliani. Oh, like that. I'm gonna tell you. Cool. Oh, there's a lot of routes I want to do, but 
But that's the Siciliani Dia Lavoratori. Sicilian Workers League was a popular socialist movement which arose in Sicily during the 1890s. Gaining support amongst the poorest of the working class who were frustrated with class inequality and political corruption, the Feschi demanded social reforms, and when these were not met, they began an outburst of strikes that rapidly spread throughout Italy. Or Sicily, really. The Sicilian peasants who fought and died for the riots are still remembered those days as an important force in left wing po Italian politics, especially within southern Italy. We remember the fascists. You know, we'll probably just declare war on them. I, wanna, I don't want to deal with them anymore. Uh, so we'll probably do that one. A truce with the Mafia, maybe next time, but like. I don't know. I don't want to lose all the political power. War with the Mafia. The Noble Legion of Awakening. The Noble Legion of Awakening is an umbrella name for the loose grouping of malicious societies devoted to the ideas of Julius Vivola, receiving funds to protect nobles loyal to the cause from banditry and socialism. The perceived weaknesses of the chairman in this trying time is that more and more jobless young men viewing their demands for an immediate revolution or, as they would all call it, counter-revolution, to an Italian rump state as valid. It's speculated that their growth and ability to provide for members is also resulting a result from funding from aligned royalist exiles in Sardinia. The Republic of Italy and amongst the reactionary members of the Houses of Savoy, when whom appreciate the loyalty seemingly pledged to them by Evola. Warn their donors. I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. Radical Socialists, Syndicalists, Dorlis, LDR, PLD, PLI. Reviewing the Guards. Oh, Lega Monarchia. Monar Monarchica. Legion. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. The Red Guards are Guardia Rossa has been the backbone of the Socialist Republic of Italy's army ever since the Civil War. Organizes local militias. They have major, republics, major pu support from both local communes of field and equip them. However, with some nationals seeking to reunify Italy, so plans have been put forth to reform the Red Guards and True Red Army. But, such a plan is controversial for many members of the Red Guards that are highly suspicious of a centralized military apparatus despite the benefits it will bring. Create the Red Army. Support the Red Guards. Hmm. Great. Yeah, I went with the Army XP. Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of options. The Fasci Revival. Jim and De Vittori's uh, rule has been controversial, to say the least. <clears throat> Critics of the regime have accused them of focusing far too much on military defense against the Federation, leaving the poor rural peasants, especially in Sicily, to deal with worsening living standards and food shortages. <coughs> with the Federation and National French fleets blockading much of the Federation and National's food aid, there have been increasing calls for decreasing of tensions with the North and restructuring of the SRI. One major figure is syndicalist politician Riccardo Lombardi, originally supportive of De Vittorio before changing allegiance to the Union Socialista Cristiana. He has now found his own movement. A member of the Fasci Siciliani in his youth, Lombardi has formed the Fascio Italiano de Lavatori, or more simply the Fasci. Inspired by the movements of the 1890s, the Fasci were calling on greater social justice and implementation of peasant democracy while providing a more moderate stance on Italian reunification. More troublemakers! Uh, I guess next one we'll do this one too because we lose population and crew over eight. More max planning and planning speed. Create the Armata Rossa, which will forge a new army. Move more professional army for the Republic. The Armata Rossa Red Army. It'll be about modernizing and above all professional army doing so, however. We'll require planning on integrating the Red Guards into the army and then dissolving them, both of which shall not be all that popular. The UR Group. It's rumored that Ebola has expanded its high secret society. The infamous UR Group, which, according to the government documents, is devoted to discovering arcane knowledge and is managed by Arthur Regini. While more practical financial backers of Ebola have particularly succeeded at confusing the Republic as to whether its existence is real or merely cynical slander, members of our intelligence services have little doubt it has gained further membership from predominantly the sons of aristocratic families both here in the North, so while the group remains small, the connections it provides are quite powerful. More conservative members of our government want to find and arrest members for promoting indecency, while the socialists would prefer to focus on the Noble Legion of the Awakening for their part in attacking left-leaning left unions, which we do. Can intervene? By both? Oh, sorry, I can't do anything. Demobilize? I don't want to demobilize. Why would I want to do that? We get political power, though. That's actually really nice. What are we on? Oh, we're already on war economy. Wow, that's pretty strong. I like that a lot, actually. So we'll wait until the last day. Getting extra political power and going down to partial mobilization is not terrible. It could be better, but fascist rally support. The fascist movement has seen a large a sort of surge in support among supporters of South Italy, with both former supporters of the revolution and anti-syndicalists flocking to Lombardi's movement. Combining populist and socialist rhetoric with religious and national sentiment, Lombardi's called on the Italian working class to unite with the Northern Brothers. At one recent rally, portraits of both Jesus Christ and Caraboli could be seen carried by fascist militiamen. Furthermore, members of the Union Socialistica, uh, Socialista Cristiana have been invited by Lombardi to speak as guests. These recent moves show that the fascist aim to provide a Big Ten opposition to the SRI establishment that could provide us with the difficulties in subduing the populace if we don't take action. The workers of Italy know who their true saviors are. Us! Attempted murder on Donato Manduzio, a wounded World War I veteran who became a self-taught Italian mystic, Donato 
uh, Manduzio, famously converted to Judaism with a small group of Catholics after the war and bases his community out of San Nicandro. Today, however, a bomb that was mailed to his home, which destroyed his residence, but thankfully went off while he was in his backyard. It's generally agreed to be an assassination attempt by the sons of Hyperborea, an extreme Evolian group that has affiliation to the Noble Legion of the Awakening and is said to be behind a string of terrorist attacks, with this, with this being their most dangerous one. Wow. There's no evidence of him being directly involved in denying that he encouraged it. Evola nonetheless defended the attempt on Manduzio's life as defending the Aryan spirit from someone who is using his mystical abilities in, an, in aid of the materialistic spirit that embedded our dissension into Kali Yuka. While some anti-Semites and superstitious elements of society are in agreement that this attack in Ebola's apologism has angered the public and political class unlike the more popular vigilante attacks on syndicalists and criminals that his supporters have conducted, with even some integralists denouncing him, we, we could move on Ebola now. Arrest him. <coughs> we can't make a martyr out of him. Whoa. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What just happened? Wow. Uh. Crap. This is going to be a very early World War I. World War II, I mean. What the heck? I'm not getting involved in that war. These guys better not get involved in the war either. What the heck? If all the players march on Naples. The Noble Legion of the Awakening have declared their intention to march on Naples and ask an unpopular chairman, stating that the government's favoritism for foreign capitalists and socialists over the people of Italy has been made far too clear. Other small radical traditionalist groups that collaborate with the Legion over the point of arguably being regional sub-entities, such as Sicilian warriors of tradition and the soldiers of the Aryan Spear, are expected to join them. Sympathetic integra integralists and nationalists will likely be joining in. How much support can they have in the fascist march north? Lombardia has rallied its peasants, militias, and held peaceful marches in Bastilica and Apulia, diverging from the original fasci Sicilia, by appealing to workers in the region in the north. Many believe that Lombardy aims to maintain this wave of popularity and march on Naples. Directly challenging the chairman would be a great embarrassment to the entire SRI. Therefore, many within the government have suggested providing economic relief to the most impoverished regions and also expanding political power to local unions, after all. Lombardy's surge of popularity is based almost entirely on disgruntled rural workers, and a direct appeal to them could help dissuade potential fascists. I can't believe the second book already started. There are two marches on Naples. One, you can do a very long to boost leading support. After election deadlock. Okay. Nice. 19 support's not bad. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm not so sure about this, man. The march. About 11,000 armed men are marching on Naples towards the Congressional Building to demand the state be given to the force of tradition. The chairman could have had the army intervene and should expect success if he does it. But his lack of confidence since black money and the growth of militia groups is not going to notice with some rumoring that he can believe that this is a sign that the SRI is finally finished. What should we do? Stand the ground. Oh boy. Didn't clear more than the mafia. That's all we're doing. Lombardi forges alliances. Fascist leader Ricardo Lombardi has been forging close uh, contacts with several groups opposed to our government. The most prominent is the Union Socialista Cristiano, who, after being sidelined by De Vittorio's decision to align with Mussolini's Union Nacionalista, have responded by opposing most government decisions. This week, leaders of both Christian socialism and fascism held joint prayers and announced the closed ties that the fascist and the Christian trade unions currently hold. The fascist also held joint processions with the Republican nationalist organizations to commemorate the expedition of the Thousand, delivering a speech in which Lombardi compared the fascist to the red shirts and acting and stating, Fascism is the ideology of the masses and an ideology built upon cooperation with recent rumors of fascist contacts with the Papacy and PPI. The potential of the fascist being used by the North to undermine us is worrying. We gotta stop them. It didn't stop the Second World War for firing, so... Wow. Y'all might want to guard your border just a wee bit better than this. Seriously, I don't want you to lose too early, so. Guard the goddamn border, son. Son, you got a border there. Even though if you lose that, I mean, you still can defend here. That's not bad. Death of Filippo Torotti. The other great statesman Filippo Torotti passed away at the age of 79 years old. Filippi Torotti, or Filippo Torotti, was one of the last surviving founders of the Italian Socialist Party. His strong account support of the rights of the workers of Italy from his earliest days made him famous throughout the Republic, in addition to the founding of the Socialist Party of Italy. He was also one of the principal architects of the Constitution of the Socialist Republic of Italy. The funerals in Naples was attended by visitors from nations around the world and officials from around the political spectrum, all paying their respects to the great late leader, and his various labor songs that were sung, including Inno di Lavatorori, which we penned himself, the passing of the torch. Yep, I guess we dealt with the, uh, mafia for now. 
Uh, CNTFAI, the leaders of this group have fled Spain, where they can only face arrest and imprisonment. They have come to us asking for training and support, so when they return, they will be prepared to bring down the king. Get what they ask. <coughs> Kick them out. Begin the Fourth Congress. With all preparations finally finished, let us convene the Fourth Congress of the National Congress. Men and women from all unions across the Socialist Republic of Italy shall convene in Naples to debate the future of our society and country. The world is kind of falling apart already. It's not even 1937 yet. God dang. I wouldn't mind getting more daily army XP, though. Ooh, com ooh we're in a command economy. Ooh, that's kind of different. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Army focus offense. Defense. Artillery. Hmm. These guys don't have a lot of artillery on them, though. Those guys are only 18 combat, which is not good. Uh, we don't have a lot, do we? We don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of anything, do we? God dang it. If anything, at least give these guys support artillery. At the very least, we need that. Um, I want to say focus on defense because I just want to defend for the most part. But let's wait and see first. We do get 0.48 every day, which is pretty nice. We'll do this. Maybe go back down to mobilize economy. We'll see. Oh, they did break through. Oh, boy. Oh! That did take for done. But at what cost? Seriously, what cost? We can use some of that war propaganda. We could use a lot more stability, though. Demobilize. We just go back. God dang it, we can't. That sucks. <laughs> that would have been cool, though. Military staff, chief of the army. I just don't know. Getting extra stuff here would be really nice. Ooh, more defense and better supply consumption. Ooh, that's pretty strong. More daily army XP. I like the defense and supply consumption, though. We're really going to need defense, especially since we're going to be defending them here anyways. We'll hover over here, chief of the staff, organization. Infantry is nice population. We might need that. I just don't know. Let's just go with defense for now. It's because we will be defending um, a lot of the ports anyways. So, let's grab that guy. I think that'd be good. Pius the is gone. Goodbye, Pius. <coughs> and the Congress. The Mafia State. Well, could be worse, I guess. 0.49 stone, not too bad. Yeah, why did they go to war so early? Who declared war on the Third International? France has gone through its designs to hold the first Congress of the Third International, and we, as expected, received an invitation. It wouldn't be foolish not to send a delegation. Better start back in. Who won here? NSP? Semantic Socials. Chairman of the Committee of Dissolute Public takes the floor. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Syndicalism in Spain. If you want to read about that, too, please go right ahead. Boom. Bing da bong da bunga. Big Bill Haywood and the Combined Syndicates. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead, too. Nice. Let's support the American Rookers. There we go, too. Happens every campaign. Women's Roll. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, go back to the kitchen for now. All right, you want to about that too? Please go ahead. Malt secures independence. Varity coming asked for support. France, please defend. Please defend. For the love of God, please defend. White terror. World economic crash. You want to about these two? Please go ahead. Opportunity. Now it's a capitalist merge and the social democratic assistance. Yeah, um, I want to make sure that things are relatively balanced here. So, like, if these guys start breaking through really well, then we're gonna just I'm gonna do some funky stuff off screen because I want it to be balanced. I mean, I don't want it to like be too heavily on one side, but end of the first congress? Okay. Can you guys please reinforce your borders? What, what, why are the Japanese helping them out? Can we actually send you volunteers? We can't, because we're in the same war. Or the same faction, I mean. That's good. Just please hold it out, man. Begin the, their fourth congress. So with this one, we got to make sure we choose one, one, one. Like, one of each one, so. Fourth congress, the, uh, the Greater Italian Union. Today, the Fourth Congress of the Greater Italian Union begins. Various factions of the Congress will debate economic, internal, and military policies. The Union Syndicalistic uh, seeks to push Orthodox Syndicalism, advancing the current policies of the Congress, while the Union Socialista Cristiana desires a government that helps the people and supporting Christian Socialism. Meanwhile, Benito, his new faction, the Union Nazionalista, advances the new ideology of Garibaldismo, advocating for absolute state power and aggressive military expansion. The very future of the Republic hangs in the balance. Let's get to work! Armor. Prepare for liberation. Uh, artillery effort's not bad. This one's not bad, too. Mm, military buildup. Centralized command. Integrate the Red Guards. That'd be pretty good to do, honestly. Centralized command. In order to better organize a new Red Army, we need a centralized command structure. We should also be flexible having a revolutionary general staff allow us to better plan, coordinate the Army, and prepare for all encounters. Integrate the Red Guards. With the command structure of the Red Guards now centralized, the disorganized Red Guard units themselves can be integrated into a formal military structure. Absolutely. <coughs> Got a lot of war sport, though. 
That's pretty darn nice. Not to recommend. Honestly, we just need more, like, army stuff. So, Fourth Congress of the Greater Italian Union, Economic Policy. The first order of business is Economic Policy of the Republic. The Union Socialists of Christiana advocates for a focus on agrarianism and supporting the rural communes. The Union is syndicalists to argue for further syndicalism to be a proper industrial democratic republic. Well, Mussolini's UN demands nothing short of the total and immediate industrialization. We'll go with radical socialism first. Radical daddy socialism. Oh, they're forcing attack now. Wow. Uh, the discussion on the second day of the Congress focused on more internal matters. The Union U.S. Uh, representatives came forward and pushed for further empowerment of the unions, while the U.S. C's representative came forward and pushed for empowering the rural communes instead. The U.N.'s representatives argued that as chairman that should be empowered. Uh, empower the unions. This is not good. Oh, that was close. And the final order of the, of the business of the day is a Christ, status of Christianity within the Republic. The, unis, the USC has come out strongly in supporting Christian socialism. The representatives claim that even the priests consider socialism as Jesus wanted. The UN, on the other hand, also claim that Christianity, Christianity is archaic, unsuited for the modern age, and that state atheism will help break the chains of ignorance. Finally, the Union Syndicalistica, or Syndicalista, are supporting the middle ground status quo of secularism. Support state atheism. No one can agree on anything? That sounds pretty normal. Go ahead and go home. Oh my gosh, no majority achieved. No faction that came on the Congress came out on top. The government's deadlocked, and now the country is once again thrown into chaos while the leaders attempt to negotiate some kind of compromise. The march on Naples. Naples. While we thought Giovanni Messi could be trusted, it seems that we were wrong. Today, just hour to hours after the Fourth Party Congress ended in deadlock, the general and a thousand men attempted to take over the capital, fighting with Baron Evola, who has more radical plans for the peninsula. Well, the grand militia is struggling to keep power to hold on to socialism in Italy. There are also rumors that Riccardo Lombardi and this fascist movement of peasant militias plan on securing the city. The neo Sandinisti have also been marching with the north, from the north. The fighting is still intense, and the day ended with what? Us reading how to do this. The second one is important, which allows you to choose between the Mafia, Messi, and all the mothers. Defeating the army and securing control. The army are gaining control and killing Messi. Oh, wow. Evolves Legion seizing control. Yes, please. The Legion takes power. It's kind of cool. Lombardi's fascist militias. The Mafia takes charge over the crumbling state. <coughs> That's kind of cool. And the Neo San Fidesti victoriously marched through the streets of Naples. That'd be actually really cool, too. I want to do so many routes. But it, people. Cool. Legion takes power. The chairman and many other prominent socialists fly to fight have broken the spirit. And an organization of our state has many high-level government uh Government officials did the same when they heard what happened. To make matters worse, the Legion took over ports and other cities while the march was occurring without any orders to push them back. They managed to take these regions with little resistance. Thus, at the moment, it appears that they control our nation. We leave the Third International. Oh. Remove divided nation. We're yellow. We're Sicilian now. Wow. All right. Well then. So we have still all this stuff to do still. Oh, here we go. We're up here too. Ride the Tiger. Knights of the Holy Grail. Weekly stability. <coughs> as much as I want to integrate the Red Guards, we need to. Ride the Tiger? Baron and Julius Evola and his radical traditionals have finally managed to overthrow the meek state of Solutions Italy. As far as roaming the streets murdering loyalists to the old regime, something we should have let it play out while we concentrated them into single cohesive forces. The Battle for Bari. Sure, guys, you guys can do that. It appears that some of our troops guarding the port of Bari yet to understand that the government truly lost. Under the commander, they valiantly attempted to hold the port in the pathetic hope that their socialist chairman would save them, but without proper support. They gradually became drained of resources and surrender. What should be done with them? Sweet execution. Crucifixion. Crucifixion! Ooh. We need a lot of stability, though. Okay, I'll grab that one. Acts of vigilantism. Legion has long supported a hardline stance against criminalism and degeneracy, but now the government's fled, they are taking little mercy on the known criminals and hardline bourbon supporters in the area. While the bulls ecstatic that this wave of violence symbolizes the birth of our society's true spirit, some of his officers have advised him to pull back Legion force and organize them into our forces. No, that's good it's good practice for war. Yes, we need to pull back our forces for now. No. Oh. Well, so we still have army resistance. Omorosa. And then we have fight for tradition. Oh, wow. That's not good. Why, son of a giant? You wonder about that? Please guard ahead. Follow the... Why am I feeling? Hey, the national pop is just like us. These guys don't like us a lot, though. Germany does not. They're just fine. Whatever. And you guys really hate us. We're just fine. Whatever. We don't really care. 
If they like us or not, it does not matter to us. Um, failure of the Halifax Conference, which is so weird to see in 1936. What type of flag do we have? Very odd. Very cool, though. Oh, anything down here? Electronics, electronics, civilian. That'd be good to get as well. I just don't know. Army, defense, Robins. Uh, keep the staff. I mean, as much as I love extra population, we're probably going to need more population regardless. I'm probably going with organization. Organization is really strong. But anything that would benefit us now is probably better to do. Soft attack, production equipment. I love as much soft attack as possible. But we'll probably come over here. Just build more stuff, maybe. We'll get that benefit anyways. Or just do this anyways. No, because we, we don't get any daily army XP. Anything over here? I want more daily army XP. That's what all I care about, so. Nice. I'll go grab battle plan, too. Nice. Ride them tigers. And then, Knights of the Grail. <clears throat> In order to carry out our goals, we'll need more than loosely organized militias. The Knights of the Grail. Oh, look at that. That looks really cool. Aim. The name for adventurers whom went on that ancient journey, the Knights of the Grail, is a highly esteemed society made up of our most loyal mil militant armed with our best equipment so that they may answer directly to the sovereign without question and cast his enemies into darkness forever. Condemn Pope Pius XII, a conclave that has elected Pope Pius XII as the head of the Catholic Church and thus the ruler of Northern Italy. We should condemn him as a potential danger to our nation, but the majority of our people are Catholic. It might be upset even so. Should we stand by and just watch our own brother be brainwashed into such unjust rule? Religion is and always have been one of the enemies of the proletariat. We can come to terms. Hmm. Evola, huh? Well, National Daddyists here. We'll see what happens. <coughs> yeah, then choose Pio's vision. We own Latium, yeah. And the deadlock, and then choose Pio's vision. Yeah, that's cool. Rather them Tigers. Being a Summer Olympics, cool. Eh, still not, that's not bad, still. Um, after that, naval stuff is important. Max range factor. Generation chance is probably a little better. You know what? Screw it. We'll just go on defense. I want, I, we're just going to max it out as much as fast as possible. Now nah, to the grail, my son. Now nah, to the grail. Integralist complacency. Destroy liberalism. A real king. Mal Mal. If you want to Mal Mal, please go right ahead. Strike consumerism. Our fellow legion. The nation. The Vatican is vulnerable. Catholic resistance strengthened. Sovereign beyond state. Ooh. Barbarians, the Vikings, Pan, Pan Europa. We get one research slot, but we get two research slots. The new European order. Oh my goodness. Um, I want more national daily, uh, or daily political power, basically. So, two percent uh, aristocratic funding. <clears throat> While cause was already supported by a handful of aristocratic exiles, our victory should have removed doubts as to our inability or our ability to come to power. We need to reach out to all worthy aristocrats and court their support in turn for assuring them that their rank in our society. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, we have no generals. God dang it. Perez Alessandro Perzio Baroli. Baroli. Oh, he's aggressive? Oh, I like that a lot. I love it when they're aggressive. I'm very aggressive sometimes. I'm very, very aggressive. I love it. Um, honestly, I'm going to wait. We might want to get that extra max entrenchment, but I just don't know how rapidly or rapidly... Enemies are going to attack us. Knights of the Grail initiates. And issued by a blood pact with the Legion commanders. Uh, the Knights of the Grail, now our internal secret elite. Tasked with a special operation missions. Investigations that upholding the vows of tradition at all costs. Some are suggesting that we not only allow Legion militants into in whom are supported by Legion commanders, but also original allies to join, while others want our requirements to be stronger in the future. And for someone to do both be a veteran and vouch for by someone of noble blood to become a Grail Knight. Claim this will earn us our undying loyalty. What should we do? Keep it as it is. Uh, make requirements stricter from now on. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Knights of the Grail. Because right now we're losing weekly stability. Uh, I kind of like the decryption, because it gives us slightly better combat bonuses. This is okay. You know what, we'll do that one, why not? With 489. I do want, definitely want more stability, though. Warp up again would be nice. As the world burns around, so people are woefully unprepared for war. We must rally the support, take up arms for our nation. Commandeer trains, but do we have enough? No, we probably don't. Whoops. Hmm. Much as I want to rush through all this stuff, 
Don't want to be bad. Hmm, we'll see. We will definitely see. And there goes the Russian Republic. Uh, we need at least seven here. Because for this, we need at least seven for each uh, thing there. So, keep training, guys. Keep training. You ain't done yet. So daily army XP is important. Combat, air stuff. I mean, naval stuff is going to be important, too. Close air support. I love, love, love. Battle weather penalty, though. Naval stuff, decisive battle. Sub, sub detection. Oh, crap. I don't want to choose. Choose that one. Let's integrate the Red Guards just in case. Uh, get a cost reduction for land auction anyways, which is actually really, really, really nice. Need more guns. You need a lot more of everything just in general. <coughs> this is all the guards. Officer training's not bad. Fronte Militar Clasino. That's not bad. That's actually really good and strong. The question of wealth. Oh, that's really good too. Central logistics. Our increased diplomatic overtures to Italian aristocrats and Axel have not gone unnoticed, and they have been generous in their donations, alongside support from the House of Savoy. While I've already spent some of their money to stabilize the regime by supporting the Legion, some wealth remains. The question is how should we invest in these goods? Expand the army bases? Navar is not bad. 800 guns is okay. More reward support. More for the administration. We need more fact. Ooh, that's really strong. As much as I want more national populism and more political power and stability, two more military factories are the way to go. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, please, Papa. More guns, more motorized stuff like that is super good. What's going on in Spain? Do they not gonna have civil war? Oh, he looks. Huh. And after this one, they'll come back over here and destroy liberalism. Confiscate degenerated, degenerate wealth. There's still property and riches belonging to the loyalists of the old order. Foreigners and gangsters that exist only to enrich these modernizing degenerates while pushing society further into chaos. Seizing these resources is not only good, but will be needed to fund the counter-revolution. So now with you, I'm going to send you guys over here. Oh, good God. They're breaking through. That, uh, then again, we have to go to war with everyone. By the same time, uh, I don't want to see a really, really strong um, Reich's Pact. Uh, yeah, there's Norway joined. That's good. Russia, what are you doing? Are you going to do anything over here? No? Oh, it doesn't look like you are. Okay, whatever. Just in case. You never know when I'm going to go to war. Maybe I won't get involved. If I have to do some funky stuff, then I'll have to do some funky stuff. So, well, Eastern Siberian Federation looks kind of cool. Lavrov. Nice. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. I want more nationalist support, so. The Integralists are on the verge of a greatness, but they have stopped short by giving into traditional Christian slave morality and desiring a corporatist economy that collaborates with capitalist powers. What well, pressure the remainders either convert and join our cause or join their meet Christ, Christ in heaven? More stability? More daily national daddy support? I love it. How have you fallen this far so far? Franchon. Uh, they have 159 factories. They only have 50. It's kind of unfair, but they do have these guys, but still. Um, they did get nearly invaded. How does the Union of Britain have such a weak army? Honestly, that's probably in the lore that I forgot to read about again. That's all right. Yeah. What are the casualties like? 95,000. Oh, there's a quarter million. Wow, that's pretty bad. Um, Communist Army anymore? 103,000? No... Russia, a lash war. Oh, the Reichspack's down here. Yeah, well, half a million is more like it for those guys, yeah. They should be losing quite a bit more, because, like, they went to war with them, I think, so. <coughs> nice. And we want a real king, too, so destroy liberalism. At long last, we can do away with that system which made men decadent, weak, and pampered. <clears throat> My apologies. Tear up the constitutions that confuse men by not allowing them to thrive in their proper place. Lying to them that are all are equal. And destroy the advocates who claim democratic mob rules preferable to honor. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy those degenerates. We need some rubber, too. We can barely make any things of motorized. So bad. We need way more artillery, though. Because I'm going to convert pretty much everybody here to the separate division. Getting a lot of... Actually, that's not bad. Just because these these guys... I don't know why. Why do we have motorized on these guys? Punishment for thievery. War organized bandits. Still exist in these difficult economic times. Uh, two does the simple thief, whom thinking of little more than their gluttonous desires, disobeys our new order. And in the process, debases both himself and the rest of society. 
Why should we be the new penalty for a crime that cannot be afforded when we battle the forces of chaos and nihilism themselves? Two fingers, one hand, their life. I don't want to go with their life. But I want more national daddy support. Because that tells you everyone else. Hey, don't mess with us. Political power, two fingers. Uh, I like both approaches. 41%. We can always get more later. Um, eh, get some stability. We're big on stability here. Artillery is going to play a key role in everything we do, though. Ah, oh, screw it. Just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. More daily air speed is nice, too. <coughs> oh, he's way more artillery. He's more limited. Oh, because I want engineers on these guys as well. Engineers is going to make a massive difference in what we can do here. Screw it. Put them on. We need them. Because you guys, I hate militia. I do not like militia. Destroy them, liberals. Integralist Incorporation. With well, the religion's gamut paying off, a majority of the Integralists viewed us as the best means of restoring Italian monarchism to its full potential. With well, a faction led by Archilia Starska, Staraka, or Starich, and Filippo Anfuso has pledged loyalty to Legion values and acknowledged that parliamentary tactics in attempting to instate national Catholicism under the Bourbon King was a desperate gambit to save Italy from socialism. But un that the path laid out by Evola is now the correct one. However, more religiously fervent and more morally disgusted members of the Integralist Coalition, including Bernardo Atolico, Carmine Sennese, and Luigi Rizzo have refused to pledge loyalty in attempts to see stated that they would continue to oppose demonic demagoguery. Together they have chosen to continue the Kamaki Nera as a separate organization that continues to ignore our society's spiritual revolt. While the militants want to attack them now, some more politically minded supporters, including our newest members, would prefer to wait and give them a chance to see the reason. Purge the rest. Give them time to change their minds. More stability, more political power. 44% is not bad. Because I'd lower them anyways, but if you lower them, these guys might come up a little higher too. And I don't want to lose any political power, so give them a little more time first. Give them more time. And then a real king. It's finally time to replace that liberal, form bourbon rule, whose very existence was a mockery to, to our traditions with our traditional nobles. The central power's victory proves it was not Emmanuel III, who was at fault for Italy's loss, but internal socialists and liberals, who prevented a centralized monarchy from defending us alongside our faithless, democratic, or Bolshevik infected allies. Order will be restored no matter what. Hey, but the economy. Hey, but that army speed. We get 0.56 every day. That's actually... That's actually very strong. That's awesome. I love that we focus on us so much. Uh, all weather. I mean, that's going to help out no matter what. So, as much as I want that one, we'll do this one too. Yeah, they're still pushing in a little bit. But it looks like they've really been... Actually, they get pushed back? They might have been pushed back. No, the Kami are... Oh, you guys went actually went to war with them, huh? They're in a defensive war. No more liberals. anti sal we'll go to that one. Real king. Alright, so. What do we want to choose? The king reigns. Uh, Knights of the Grail slaughtering liberals. The Knights of the Grail are tasked with investigating and capturing prominent liberals who have gone underground as ordered by Ebola and have been told to end their treachery. While initially this was thought to mean uh, arresting them, most of the Knights have taken the opportunity to just kill them on, along, on site, alongside whomever they may be hiding and confiscating their property. The most frequent of these victims are former labor union leaders and activists. It's not against the rules, and indeed, according to the Legion Command, it's an excellent chance for the nation to experience violent redemption, but nonetheless, some are saying that Ebola should at least require political opponents to be brought in before being tried and executed in a more lawful fashion. Tis only flesh wounds. I prefer live, if possible. Stability? I don't want to lose any more political power. Tis only flesh wounds. Legionary order. Ooh, legionary elites. A parliamentary raise. Our parliament raise. In a massively symbolic gesture, a legion ceremony was held today in the former parliament in which Ebola gave a speech complimenting the legion for their loyalty and that this was the first step of many from a material world to a spiritual one. The legion recited a prayer inspired largely by the Marathric mystery ritual while Ebola burned the constitution. Then they orderly exited the building and burned it down, but not before supposedly drawing symbols inside for good luck. While well, foreign critics and the government in exile have decried this as madness, it has been a massive blow to the morale of local liberals. This should send a message. At Legion, elite. More group of population. Ooh. Land auction cost goes down. Blood and spirit. Ooh. I love this. I love this one. No one... I'm, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm glad that whoever recommended to, this path to me on my Discord server told me to do this. I'm like, yes. Increase the religious influence. Heroic idealism. It is through heroic experiences that we were... That we not only create men, but supermen who display the best of the race and find themselves in war until the act becomes holy itself. Death on the battlefield is nothing to fear, for it is effectively overwhelming the death of overcoming death itself. We must idealize a hero as Romans, Spartans, and Teutonic Knights did. 
Oh no. Oh no. Where's the king? We need the king, but oh, dissolve the guards first. The Red Guards are no longer needed. The Red Army is replaced them completely. With this finished, we should dissolve the Red Guards and focus on strengthening the new Red Army. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. And so what we're going to do. The King has arrived. After spreading the pro House of Savoy propaganda and sending out diplomats to secure his arrival. King Emmanuel III has, <clears throat> uh, has arrived in Naples via ship, being greeted by Ebola himself, who lavished praise on the King for support of his cause. While the King does not seem enthusiastic about Ebola's more revolutionary views, he nonetheless... Uh, Lavish praise on him for his loyalty to the arist aristocracy and respectfulness towards his majesty, noting that he and the legion's undying loyalty will be paid in re repaid in full and the socialists will be pushed back into the French commune. Long live Emmanuel III. Ooh, we remove fighting for tradition. Ooh, we remove that. Nice. Oh, we're known as what? C the Legion of Sicily. Cool. Hey, welcome back. Oh, we're the Emperor and the Baron. National pop is esoteric. Esotericism. Nice flag. And then Hiroki deals and will be next. I love it. I love it a lot. I hope one political power every day. Not bad. Not bad. Could be a lot worse. What are the ships doing? Oh, and there goes America. Goodbye, America. I for, oh, I've not seen this type of civil war in a long time. Oh, you guys are green now? Are they always been green? Did they change their flag? I just think he plays them sometimes. He's got a nice coat, though. American Union State under Huey. Mr. Smoker. Uh, Big Bill, Mr. S Mr. Other Smoker, and Other Smoker. Nice. We need a lot more trucks. We got plenty of trains. So convoys, we probably need some convoys too eventually, but still. Nice. And we'll get more weekly stability anyway, so stability isn't going to be the, the most pressing issue for us right now. So let's get some construction speed. Still trying to build that stupid thing. My goodness. War propaganda is fine. Anything else here? You know what? Just go to extensive conscription. Oh, we could probably honestly use it. Just go there and stay there. Heroic idealism is really good to get, though. I'm feeling successful so far. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling pretty successful. Uh, keep training if you can. Can I send volunteers? Actually, I should be able to send volunteers. Oh, we can send one. I should have sent volunteers way long ago. Did this civil war never fire for Spain? I guess it did it. No. All right, whatever. The Germans should be attacking like crazy, so I just want as much army XP as possible. Thank you. I should have sent them earlier. Oh well. <coughs> Definitely get these more guns though. Yeah, could be building a military, but whatever. As long as we can get as much army XP as possible, that's all I really care about. All right. More cap. Thank you. Dissolve them guards and hero heroic idealism. More war sport? Why not? Ah, uh, he victored Emmanuel III. And they'll be here, hopefully in May. May 2nd, okay. There you are. There you are, son. You're gonna die a lot, probably. And that's okay with us. A level 4 cavalry? Uh, you already are an infantry leader, which is pretty good. Hidden sympathies, messy. Oh. Oh, I'll go with you, why not? You got a gun. Wow. We recognize Fang Chan. Hang out there, because you have a good chance of getting attacked, too. So, after this one, Legionary Order. It's time to officially establish an official political class based on the values that should be rewarded. Vitality, traditionalism, strength, and loyalty. The Order shall have an official initiation that only members can administrate to potential members based on the commitment to legionary values, and he'd only ask you to hire out Order members and the King. Oh, that's going to be so nice. More, more infantry attack? We don't get any more defense, but we get better daily command power, max planning, land auction costs, division training time goes down. Increase your religious influence. Nice. Oh, the Vatican is vulnerable. Should we finish off the, the papacy? Catholic resistance strength and warrior priests. Ooh. Or we should do a platonic church. Gilabaline revival. Let me know. Which one should we do? Finish the papacy versus the platonic church or warrior priests and the revival. I'm not really sure. Can we not go? Oh, we need to control that TM. So let me know which one we should do. I'll let you guys decide. Yeah, see? I knew they'd get attacked almost immediately. <clears throat> If we need someone else, we'll make messy. Fine, whatever. Don't care. No more command power. God dang it. 
It's alright. Uh, are you guys still... Uh, actually, you're gonna go up there. If anything. Or just go down here still. It's fine. <coughs> Illyria, Hungary, the Hungary Revolts. Oh, hello. Slovenia exists. Approaching Albania. Heroic idealism, my friends. How idealistic. Anti-clericalism? Primordial faith. Patriarchal conditions. Uh, worse, but I want more stability too. Uh, I guess I, I said it earlier, it won't be that bad. Could attack on modernist institutions over some time. Core V system. Uh, science constrained. You do get another research slot somehow. Eurasia formed. Oh wow. Strike consumerism. Wait, what? Spanish Civil War. Liberal capitalists and business owners continue to peddle consumers and materialist nonsense to our nation, weakening their spirit in favor of hedonism. We'll take the businesses that sell us frivolous wares and enrich internationals' bankers, thus allowing the king to either distribute it amongst the nobles or put it forward towards more productive tasks. Not a bad idea. Some better fighters, too. Where are we at? Oh, you're down here. Oh, why are you attacking, man? I would love to defend there, but I don't look real good. Have you learned anything? No? Okay. You join the donut agent button. Ah, I knew they attack again eventually. We're missing tons of guns and motorized and sport equipment, which, I mean, that's pretty normal. Truth be told, that's pretty gosh. Oh, how do we have these guys here? Yeah, they're getting attacked here. Toast and the Barati commune. Are you attacking or defending? It looks like you're attacking. Well, you're defending too. You might be doing both, actually. Learn, Achilles. Learn. Oh, they're forcing attack. That's ridiculous. I was not expecting Eurasia to form. I have played as Eurasia before, but holy crap. I forget which way I went. Did I go, maybe I went Orthodox. Or maybe I went... No, I probably went Young Eurasianist, but... They're a fun nation to play as. Eurasianist. Oh. This world's very messed up. Oh. Okay, then. And now you're forcing defense. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Or propaganda would be bad, but still. <coughs> also, because it's so good to do. So good. And the next one, like I said earlier, we were going to do what? Yeah, strike consumerism. The Van Corby system. Ascetic. Ascetic values. My fellow legion. Because I won't get science constrained. That'd be very good to do. Perhaps the UBD. Oh, boy. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, well. Esoteric developments. There have been long been rumors that has to Evola and his close followers' interest in magic and the esoteric. It would seem that his views have spread to some of the nobles and legion members. But we're now taking interesting interest in reading his literature and gaining access to books that profess the new faith. Overall, they're still fringe, but among these who believe their support is strong, they practice asceticism, and many in the legion who are superstitious are shifting towards such views. Support them. Oh, more daily political power. Evolium fringe. Nice. Awesome. Um, I think I'll do this one as well as off screen, but. Uh, patriarchal traditions as well. While the correlation between masculinity and greatness is undeniable, many of our foes insist on forms of female equality against all hard evidence to the contrary. That this is a degeneration society. It's time to right the wrongs of the past and stop men from being enslaved to eros, while instituting women's correct position as instruments of the progression. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end up watching the world continue to kill itself and Evola. Well, doing quite well once he's gone, of course, with Victor Emmanuel III. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.